Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a valve cover on a Volvo D13 engine. You begin by taking off this air box. Usually you have an 8mm bolt here and a 7mm bolt here for the air compressor. So you remove those. You want to remove this wire. Usually it has a bracket here holding it. This one doesn't have it. It's a 10 millimeter bolt here. And you just pull out the plug. Um, some trucks have a wire that goes to the air filter. It goes over top. This one goes underneath. So you want to remove that. Once you have that off, once you have that off, you can, you can take off these 14 millimeters. To remove the air box, you just pull it back now. Pull this down and pull this up. And then you just pull off these lines here and it should come out. Next, you want to move, remove this air compressor line and this EGR pipe here. To do that, you got two 14 millimeter bolts. Some trucks only have one there. Then you have a, you have a seven millimeter bolt here. And uh, sometimes it might have a bracket on this hose that attaches somewhere here on the air intake manifold. To remove the EGR pipe, you can take off one of these clamps and once you get the other side off it'll come off there or you can take it off here usually I, I like to take it off here because there's a gasket there and I don't want to replace that and it's faster doing it here anyways on this side you got this bracket with two 12 millimeter bolts one on each side then you have a five millimeter hex uh, allen socket here and uh, this sensor here you want to disconnect. It's usually held on by a zip tie there and you can disconnect it and then the pipe should come off. Be careful not to strip this Allen <coughs> bolt there when you're putting it back on it because it strips fairly easy. that up now your pipe should come off If you're having difficulty, just try to twist it right here. If it doesn't come off, you can put a screwdriver in here and gently try to pry it up in a few places to loosen it up. It's kind of difficult to do this while holding a camera. There you go. Okay. Next thing you remove this here, two 12 millimeter bolts also, and it has a 12 millimeter bracket down here also that holds that. should just pull out. You want to get the gasket out there with it. And if it's old you can replace it. If it's still good put it over this pipe first before putting it back in. Next you can start removing the valve cover bolts. There should be about 20 of these 12 millimeter bolts.
once all the bolts are unscrewed, you want to take them out because they'll fall out when you take the valve cover out. They don't hold in like some valve covers do. And once you remove all of those, there's a wire that goes to the EGR valve here that comes around the back there. You want to get that out of the way also. Once all that is off, you're ready to pull your valve cover off. It should come off pretty easy. If it doesn't, you can use this pry bar here. When you're pulling the valve cover off, you want to make sure the valve cover gasket comes off with the valve cover if you're going to be reusing it. Sometimes it gets stuck to the cylinder head. Okay, as you can see the valve cover off is off. Uh, if it doesn't come out, let's try wiggling it around and it should be good. I'm reusing the valve cover we uh, the valve cover gasket. We usually reuse them unless they start leaking, then we change it. They last a while. The only thing to remember when putting it in, it's exactly a reverse order, but you want to scrape off this sealant here and here and put some new sealant there or else it's going to leak there. And that should be it. You can put everything back in the reverse order. Uh, we usually take off the valve cover to uh, change this valve here for the engine brake, change the rockers, change the injectors, whatnot. To remove, um, I'm doing this to remove the injectors, but like for instance, this valve should be pretty simple to cut these zip tie. There's two bolts holding it and it comes right out. And there's a wire on underneath of it that's also attached to it, if that's what you're replacing. And that should be it.